Greetings. We are here with Buju, the promoter of Caribbean Sundays here at Room 960. Now, let me ask you this. You said that you want to create a Sunday night environment with live entertainment. Who do you have in mind coming up other than who you've already had? Well, right now everything is tentative. Um, we have um, in the works, we have Sean Paul, supposedly, in the, the end part of November to the beginning of December. Um, we have Flipper Mafia coming through. We have other likes like Mikey Spice. Um, all these things are tentative. We're negotiating everything because, you know, it's a small venue, so it has to work for both of us for it to work. You know what I mean? And you had mentioned it was going to be, what, VP Records artists? Yeah, most of these records, most of the artists are going to be from VP. Okay. They're going to work with us, and whatever they could do to, to help us out is going to definitely be appreciated. And for those who don't know, VP Records is one of the leading West Indian distributors of reggae music and other West Indian music. All right. Now, tonight we have Barbie and Itana coming in here. Yes, definitely. How did that go down with the two different styles and everything like that? How do you think that's going to play out? Well, I hope they'll complement each other. You know, you know, Barbie is the more of the dance hall type person and Itana is more of the cultural artist. So hopefully they both, you know, blend together and it'll come out to be a beautiful show. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm hoping for. All right. Now, the, the most popular spot so far, kinda, is the West Indian Social Club for holding events and everything like that. What do you offer different than what's at the Whisk? Well, the environment is a little bit more comforting for most patrons. You know, a lot of people now, not to take away anything from the West Indian, we're still friends, you know, but the North End has like a, a, a reputation right now that's not, not, not welcoming for everybody. We're trying to get it to a level ground. Level ground is downtown Harper. You you, this is the best place to be. You, you, yeah. you, most people are comfortable with this environment, so that's what we offer. I mean, yes, it's a smaller venue. You know, it's not as big as the West, so we can't attract bigger, you know, the big, big artists, but it's, it has the comforting, you know, feel to it. So you come here, you feel real confident. You come here, you enjoy the, the, the shows you, with a smaller artist. You get to interact even closer it's with the artist. Intimate. It's more intimate. But that's what we try to provide down here at Room 960 of Sundays. All right. And the last question is this. The Whisk, certain other venues in Hartford have a reputation of starting late. And people are upset because some artists will come on stage at 1.50 and the place closes at 2 o'clock. Are we going to have that same problem here, or do you have steps in place to ensure the artists perform on time? Well, for one, um, the artists, we tend to get the artists here early. They're not here at the last minute. We're not trying to drag the thing out. It's a Sunday night. The, the, the venue closes at 1, so we have to try to do everything that it, it we get it done before 1 o'clock, of course. Um, as far as late start, well, that's why we try to open earlier, to accommodate a lot of the patrons getting in here earlier so when once they're in here earlier then they're just anticipating the show so by like 10 o'clock 10 11 o'clock they should be you know real ready for the show when we put the artists on you know as you will see itana will be here shortly which is going to be real early for any <laughs> artist you know so when once she's here then everybody's already feeling comfortable like yes the show is almost going to begin and then by the time like the bulk of the crowd because typically Typically, we come out a little late. I know that ourselves. So we are, sure we are part of the reason yeah. for everything going down like that. But now, when we open early, and then we say by 10 o'clock showtime, hopefully we have most of the patrons in, and then we can start the show. Because you can't start the show without the patrons being here. Yeah, I know. So that's the main thing: getting them here early and getting it going on. You know. And that's room 960. What's the address? It's 960 Main Street, downtown Hartford. Downtown Hartford. And welcome to all people. Yes, it is. Come on down any Sunday. You'll see me or you'll see any one of my other, you know, co-workers. And we'll definitely welcome you down. We appreciate your business. Come on down, all right? All right, thank you, sir. We are here with the beautiful Barbie. And the first question I want to ask you is this. This is always a stereotype that beautiful women can't write their own songs. Do you write your songs? 
Well, I write almost all my songs and definitely write for other people. Like who? Well, I'm so it's not supposed to tell, but hey, I wrote a song for the new artist called Miss Trini. The song she just did with Beanie Man. I did a couple records. I wrote the Miss Trini, the Junior Kelly record. I've done some stuff with the real W. So you're just more than just pretty looks. You're also very talented. Thank you. Aren't you sweet? Yes, thank you very much. And the next thing I want to know is, I saw that you performed at the United Nations. <laughs> Tell me about that. How did that come about? You know what? That was one of my favorite shows because that was a really good cause. You know, it was really just a great experience to be one of the first West Indian young ladies who were able to perform there and represent. And it was just really a pleasure just being there. And what was the name of the song that you performed? I did Candlelight because I wrote that song and it was actually showing that, you know, we're very talented people. And did you meet Nelson Mandela? <laughs> I met the statue. You met the statue, but he yeah, wasn't there. He wasn't there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Would you have liked to meet Nelson Mandela? I would Mandela? have loved to. Hopefully one day I will, right? Being that you are Nigerian as well as Jamaican and Chinese, mm -hmm. let me ask you this. Do wow. we have any good. <laughs> high life or hip life coming up in the future? Well, you really smart, man. That's what they're negotiating right now. That sounds like it's going to be something fun. For those who don't know, high life and hip life is what they perform in Nigeria, along with Afrobeat. Mm -hmm. I'm a music buff. <laughs> but um, the last question I want to ask you is this. 1981, Prince made a song called Controversy. Let's be honest. Is controversy a good thing? Does it help propel your career? Yes, it does. It's just how you take it and what you do with it, and you just have to push music first. So controversy is a good thing? It can be. There's nothing a bad thing. Once you still have breath, you can always fix something. One last thing before you go. I know I said that before, but let me ask you this. Could you give me a small snippet of Barbie? Sure. I love you anyway. I love you anyway. Thank you. And what's the MySpace page? It's before Barbie or Barbie Playhouse. I actually answer it too. Keep a lock. Thank you. Has there been that somebody in your life that will always have a special place in your life? It's like the same person that caused so much pain is the only person that can make it better. Listen. Thank you.